What's up everyone, this is Plasmatic, back with another Splatoon 2 video. Today will be another installment in the School Weapons 101 series, where I go over all of the weapons in Splatoon 2 and discuss their strengths, weaknesses, roles, and variants. Today's subject of study is the Splattershot. Let's hop right in. The Splattershot is another member of the Shooter class. It does 35 damage per hit, making it a 3 hit kill. The Splattershot's shot spread is not very wide, resulting in higher accuracy. Like many other shooters, the Splattershot suffers from fall off damage. What this means is that, when your shots start to fall towards the ground, they rapidly lose damage until they hit a minimum of 17.5 damage per shot. The Splattershot uses 0.92% of its ink tank with each shot, which means that it can fire for just under 11 seconds before running out of ink from a full tank. The Vanilla Splattershot comes equipped with the sub-weapon of Burst Bombs and the Splashdown Special. It builds special in 170 points, which, although faster than its variants, doesn't outpace most supportive weapons. Burst Bombs consume the least ink of any sub-weapon, meaning that two can be thrown consecutively by any weapon that has them. The Splattershot's fast kill time, decent accuracy, and slayerish kit all come together to make this weapon a slayer. It is relatively easy to pick up and use, and Splashdown is a good get-out-of-jail-free card at lower levels of play. Its weaknesses, much like other shooters, are its range and its fall-off damage. Splattershot players have to be able to get in close to get any kills. The Tenetech Splattershot, or T-Tech in competitive lingo, comes equipped with a sub-weapon of Splat Bombs and the Inkjet Special. It builds special in 200 points, which is relatively slow. Unlike the Junior, the T-Tech does not get to throw two consecutive Splat Bombs no matter how much Ink Saver sub you equip. Much like the Vanilla, the Tenetech is easily a Slayer. Inkjet, while not a get-out-of-jail free special, is great for initiating pushes, picking off weakened opponents, and chasing away pesky backliners. Just be careful you don't get sniped out of the air. The Kensa Splattershot comes equipped with a sub-weapon of Suction Bombs and the Tenta Missile Special. It builds special in 180 points. Suction Bombs are the most expensive sub-weapon, and for good reason. They can shut down an alley or path for 2 seconds after they are thrown, which is a long time in Splatoon. While the Kensa Splattershot is undoubtedly a slayer, it is the most passive of the three Splattershots due to its kit. Tenta Missiles are not a Slayer special, but they do punish your opponents for sticking together, and can lead into some nasty follow-ups. Missiles are also good to use for information, which is invaluable. As long as your missiles haven't hit the ground, you get to see your target's location on your screen at all times, which you can use to cut off their escape routes. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informational and maybe even entertaining. Do consider subscribing and hitting the like button, it really helps me out. Comment down below which weapon you think I should do next. This is Plasmatic, signing off.